Is this just any other game? Um, no, I don't think it is. Um, obviously, England, England, Wales, massive history behind the game, and um, obviously it's. it's it's special because of that, but obviously it's a must-win game for us because of the, the place where we are in the tournament. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's just like every other game because England Wales definitely special. What does it mean to be captain in the Welsh side at Twickenham as well? Yeah, it's it's a dream come true like last week, but obviously um, it'd be a lot better if we win. So that, that's just the main thing focused on. Do you think it helps yourself playing in the Premiership and be very familiar with a lot of the players you'll be facing? Yeah, I think it does. You you know. Um, you know certain players what they, what they like to do, what they like um, to try to try get out of games. Um, also, in terms of line out, you've you've played against them quite a few times, so you you know um, triggers and stuff, little stuff like that. But uh, and yeah, obviously some of them are your teammates, so you, you know um, you know what they want to do. So yeah. I just wanted to come into this tournament. Have you, have you spoken to any of the past captains at all, and, and spoke to to anybody to get advice about what these occasions will be like? Um, yeah, so I sp obviously spoke to Jack and Dewey. Uh, they've they've been really sound in, in uh, saying if I need any advice to come to them. Um, same with Sam. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just happened so quick. I haven't really had a chance to properly sit down with them. But yeah, definitely will be in the future. Uh, are there any sort of pillars of wisdom that you've taken from from those guys? Um, the main thing is just just performing yourself. Um, if you're performing in in your own game, then people are going to follow you. So, um, yeah, just really focusing on my own performance. Cheers, thank you. Okay, Kenneth. Oh, no, is it not you, oh, Gareth? Yes. Uh, Dad, you mentioned teammates there, Heavy Slade, uh, just always going to start the side. What, what, what would he bring with having come back into this side? Yeah, well, he's, he's an incredible leader in his own right. Um, he, he's great at shutting down uh, attacks with his through his defence, but, um, yeah, just, look, just looking to get one over him. So, I'm um, really looking forward to that, anyway. And a familiar face on the bench, Man and Faye were both soon. Have you got a bit of banter when you decided to win it without him playing then? Uh, yeah, he was having he was having us all on. We we all didn't really know what he was going to pick. Um, but yeah, he's, he's chosen England now, and you have to respect that. But um, it'd be ni nice to play against him as well. Yeah. What sort of guy and character is he? Um, a very intelligent guy. He he, he he's uh, very switched on in in terms of in terms of life and especially rugby. Uh, I think he's developed his game a lot as well through through his skill set and obviously he's a he's a he's a freak in terms of uh, his athletic ability. But um, yeah, just ho hopefully we can shut him down on the weekend. Well, we will. And what did you learn most on Saturday? Um, I think the main thing I've taken out of it is that it's all about winning. Um, yeah, it's all good. We we played well in the second half, but we didn't win, so it doesn't really mean anything. Um, but yeah, that, that's probably the main point I would say. Elgin. I have well, well, had those three famous wins in 08, 12, 15, maybe 08 was two soon few, but do you recall watching them as the youngest of those wins in um, 15? I think uh, Scott Williams' try um, was was the one that stood out for me. Um, Really, that was when I started started playing rugby properly and, and taking it seriously. So that was a huge moment, and obviously, you see clips of, of the other games, um, in, inspirational. But hopefully, we can do a job like that. Yeah. Did, did it feel like maybe secondary to winning at home in Cardiff that the winning in, in Twickenham is as, as good as it gets other than Cardiff for a Welshman? Uh, yeah, it'd be the best place to win. Yeah, as you say, for a Welshman, um, there's no better place, especially playing over there. You, you, if if you win over there, you you gain a lot of respect from. From them and uh, yeah, it's huge, huge for us. Um, what have you learned about yourself in the last ten days or week and a half? You know, having this huge responsibility put on yourself. Um, I've learned that if I want to be here, I have to, I have to be the best I can possibly be in terms of competing with the best players in the world. Um, but but mainly, uh, like a lot of other people on the team, I think I think we've learned that we, we can compete and um, and we're meant to be here. So I think that would be the main thing I'll take out of it. And not to pick on you, but what went wrong with the line -out? Um I think in terms of the line out, um, we we have a system and, and we didn't stick to it. Um, I think that's where we let ourselves down a lot. Uh, it's, it doesn't. It's not on a certain player, it's, it's a collective. Um, but yeah, sometimes you have to say fair play to some steals from Scotland, but other times it's, it was our own, it was our own doing. Well, I guess England would have looked at that and 
will have seen that as a bit of an Achilles heel for this week. You presumably want to be better this week, yeah, well, they can assume it's, it's our weakness, but we, we, we definitely see it when it goes right as our strength. Um, but yeah, we, we, we knew we weren't up to the standard and we've we've tried to put a lot of wrongs right this week. Thank you. Cheers. Stefan? Uh, Dov, I asked Warren the same question. Um, probably, he's probably unfair of Arden, but he comes in for a lot of criticism on social media. As somebody who, who's played with him, can you just explain how influential he is and what he brings on and off the field to the team? Yeah, he's huge. I, I think it's it's really unfair. Um, you don't you don't see the work he does behind closed doors, um, and and all the unseen work in terms of in terms of around the park. Um, but yeah, he's a class act, and he he probably doesn't get enough credit for his leadership. Um, yeah, someone I've I've really tried to take a lot of learnings from in in my time since being here, and um, yeah, I'll continue to do so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Hamish. Yeah, that's fine. Second youngest captain in history, obviously. Half time walking down the tunnel. What's going through your head? Um, a lot of emotions. I felt like we were, we were letting a lot of people down. Um, but yeah, obviously, you don't want to be in that point of the game um, that, we, that we got ourselves into. But we we did well to nearly get ourselves out of the hole, but, but we didn't. And um, yeah, hopefully, we, we won't put ourselves in that situation ever again. But that was a test for you and the leadership team. You passed it from the second half performance. So how much did that? Um, in hindsight, did you grow? Well, we didn't win, so we didn't we didn't do it in the end. But um, yeah, we we definitely felt like we grew in in terms of the performance. I thought uh, a lot of people stepped up in terms of the second half. I thought our bench was awesome. Um, but yeah, it was, it was definitely it was definitely a test. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.